So this is on time and distance. A train running at a speed of 60 km per hour crosses a pole in 18 seconds. What is the length of the train? So you have two quantities, quantity 1 and quantity 2. What is the first quantity? A train running at a speed of 60 km per hour crosses a pole in 18 seconds. So whenever you have questions on time and distance, first check the units. The units of speed, time and distance should be similar okay here it is in terms of kilometers per hour here it is seconds so convert everything into the same unit so 60 kilometers per hour is how many meters per second into 5 by 18 meters per second correct or uh, that is equal to uh, 50 by 3 6 will go here right 10 50 by 3 meters per second so 60 kilometers per hour is 50 by 3 meters per second now um, it is crossing a pole in 18 seconds so what is the length of the train the distance or the length of the train is nothing but 18 into 50 by 3 correct so it is equal to 300 meters so the length of the train is 300 meters that is the distance covered is equal to speed into the time here the distance covered is nothing but the length of the train so this you get as 300 meters now look at quantity 2 the length of a bridge which the 300 meter uh, long uh, train traveling at 72 kilometers per hour can cross in 30 seconds is dash so say again 72 kilometers per hour is how many meters per second 72 into 5 by 18 correct or that is equal to 20 this is 4 mm, 4 correct yeah 20 meters per second so that is the speed of the train and uh, let us assume that see it is given the length of the train is 300 let us assume the length of the bridge is x meters divided by 20 that is equal to 30 see the total distance divided by uh, speed will give you the time it takes so here you have to consider the length of the train and the length of the bridge so uh, solve for this so what do you get see you have 600 so 600 minus 300 so x will again be equal to 300 so in both the cases you get 300 as the answer so quantity 1 is equal to quantity 2 that is option e